Fast, fun and tasty is what can be expected at the newest restaurant in Vienna. It's based at the city's amusement park, and whilst the thought of roller coasters and eating don't tend to go hand in hand, in this restaurant it's only the food that actually goes on the roller coaster, right before it ends up at your table. The concept was developed in southern Germany, and this is now the seventh opening around the world. Well, looks like a bit of a crazy night out. Time to move on then to our Express, which will keep you up to date on entertainment news around the continent. Now, we all know why people say that cities never sleep. They're always lit up. There are the street lamps on, office lights still on, advertising screens and prolific monuments or bridges lit. What we find, though, is that when they're all lit, they're all alight with the same kind of yellow tone, but not when Philip Geist has anything to do with it. This German light artist uses every colour under the sun when his installations are projected onto cityscapes around the world. Now, who knows the name of the Italian singer-songwriter Zucchero? Well, you'd certainly know his most famous song, Senza Una Donna. Since starting out, Zucchero has sold more than 60 million albums and he's about to release another one called Black Cat. We visited him at the place where he gets most of his inspiration, his home. It's that time of year here in Northern, Northern Europe when we reach into our wardrobes for something warm. But, ladies, you know what I'm talking about when I say that there is nothing in the wardrobe to wear. OK, at least nothing that I want to wear. Well, we thought we would lend you a hand by letting you all know the trends of this coming season. So get your notebooks ready. Well, I don't know about that, but I am pleased to say that at least my nail colour choice is on trend. <laughs> Let's move on to our Express now, which kicks off with news on the Rolling Stones. Well, with Sweden still in mind, we turn to their royal family, two of whom have just landed in Berlin on a royal visit. The King and... In celebration of their visit, we take a look back at the history of the current reigning royal family in Sweden and give you a reminder of all of the prominent occasions that they've enjoyed in the last few years. Well, we hope the King and Queen have a lovely time whilst they are here in the city of Berlin. Now, who knows the saying, it's not like it used to be in the good old days. How many times have we heard that? Well, there are some people who refuse to move with the times and still make use of old machines that are powered with steam. This group of fans falls into a new trend that's known as steampunks. Up first, though, is music and motion pictures. There are many musicals that have had success both as stage productions and on the big screen. Irish director John Carney is one of the best-known modern-day directors who's established himself in this genre. It all started when his low-budget 2007 film called Once won an Oscar and then had a great run on London's West End. It's now as if Carney is starting a new revolution of combining music and film as his third and latest production has opened to rave reviews. Now, aside from cuckoo clocks and quaint villages, Germany's Black Forest is famous for its dense evergreen woodlands. Within this mountainous... Two photographers with a passion for animals and the wilderness have taken to this area and 150 of their fascinating shots can now be seen in their new photo book. Moving on now, it's time to get a quick update of a few other things that are going on around the continent. So here is your daily dose of Express News for you. This week, we're running a series about crazy hotels around Europe. If you watched the show yesterday, you will have seen our reporter staying the night up in a crane. That looked pretty memorable, but today, magical is more the word of choice. We followed two sisters who chose to spend a night inside a Trojan wooden horse. It's part of a whole range of wacky rooms that make up the Belgian hotel La Ballade de Nome. And at the end of the week, please go to our website and let us know which hotel you would prefer to spend the night in. You'll then be automatically entered into a prize draw to win a six-piece travel set that you can see online. Hopefully handy if you have a holiday coming up. Now, at this
this time of year in Germany, there's one nutritious vegetable that people go crazy about, and that is asparagus. The homegrown white variety is a delicacy that's seen on generally every restaurant menu around. We found one German chef who likes to serve it up quick and simple. And if you would like the recipe for that, you can find it on the a la carte web link, which is below. Now, last but by no means least today, we head into the cellar of a Swiss film fanatic. If you've ever wondered what happened to the iconic costumes or figurines made for Hollywood's blockbusters, then wonder no more. Because it's likely they've ended up in the hidden treasure trove seen in this next report. When it comes to surnames, there are few British ones more common than the name Smith. So what would the name Paul Smith say to you? I'd say grounded, reliable, appealing and accessible to the masses. That is what Paul Smith as a clothing brand is all about. As the designer label is celebrating its 40th birthday this year, we went to meet the man himself, seeming very calm during London Fashion Week. And we continue with a quick update on another British designer at London Fashion Week. It's time for our Express. As each year passes, we continue to see developments in technology, so much so that it's sometimes hard to keep up. The world's leading... Drone cameras are also all the rage with modern photographers. They allow us to get up close and personal with high buildings and monuments without the expense of a helicopter and without even leaving the ground. They're the focus of our first episode in our series this week, which will feature photographs of the world from different perspectives. It's always fun to show something from a new perspective, a view behind the scenes or a moment of tranquility in a busy world, for example. If you send us your photos, you'll be entered into a prize draw to win this GoPro action cam. All you need to do is fill in the form on our website by the end of the week and upload your shot. Best of luck. Now, we've become accustomed to showing you big glamorous film festivals on Euromax, but there are also some smaller ones that deserve a mention, especially when Deutsche Welle is a media partner. At a small spa resort outside of Berlin, hundreds of people flocked to an ever-growing alternative film festival which shows another side to the world of cinema. Time now to head off to a corner of Europe chosen by you, our viewers. Today, the request... This area of the Emerald Isle was once described by National Geographic magazine as the most beautiful place in the world. So we hope it lives up to your expectations. Now, what better way to end the show than with a bit of controversy? If any woman was to put on weight around their stomach, the last thing they do is pose for an ad campaign. But a number of men with very large beer bellies did just that, and it seems to have been a great success. A lesson that we should all accept ourselves the way we are, I'd say. That wraps up our show for today, though, so until tomorrow, bye-bye for now.